that we can like kind of decompress. <laughs> え、なかなかお待たせいたしました。ファイナルファンタジー<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Kit, did you hear that Yoshi P recently did a live stream with um, Alfino's voice actor playing a D&D style uh, or Final Fantasy XIV style D&D &D campaign? Now the trailer. So yeah, you can. I think it's all in English, uh, Japanese, but I think there's a fan translation. In a world ruled by tyranny and turmoil, there are those who would fight to take back control of their fates. <laughs> Garuda. It unmakes us that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. Was that Tiamat? There's going to be another war, isn't there? Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. A HUD? We must move now. Okay, I'm not... Ooh, mm, mm, not huge on the HUD. I don't like this current level of Final Fantasy, like, tech HUD. It's, like, too minimalistic and optimized. I don't like it. Limit breaks. Dude, this is just Final Fantasy XIV for a new era. <laughs> I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. Interesting. Are they only doing single enemy battles? Like, I haven't seen a group battle yet. Not with just characters, but also enemies? To its foundations. Are we only gonna get one-on-one -on -one battles throughout this entire game? Odin. Phoenix. I am trying to figure out this gameplay style. Look at how, look at these health bars just melt. Garuda, okay, official, yep, that is Garuda. I'm assuming that's Bahamut. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home Yep, burns, yep, it's official, it's Bahamut. The empire will live on. It definitely won't. No, nope, it definitely won't. If anything, it's going to be more like uh, Devil May Cry. Okay, I'm still hyped, but man, I'm a little worried. There's, it doesn't seem like there's a party in this game, dude. And Awaken, I'm not sure if child of fate. how I feel about that. Awaken. Yeah, so that tracks summer 2023. Um, I'm a little iffy on the summer 2023, so next year. On the combat. I'm going to be honest with you. I was kind of hoping... We're going to rewatch some of those trailers and stuff. I was really hoping that they were hiding the, play of the other characters in your party for the initial trailer, right? Uh, it doesn't look like you'll have any other party members. And you're not getting, like, group battles, it seems, right? It seems like a lot of the fights, at least what they showed, were all one-on-ones. And then it, like, turns into, like, what, like a brawl? Or, like, ultimates? Like, you gotta summon your icon when the other person summons their icon? Or is that, like, specific story beats? Like, what's happening there, right? We gotta, we gotta go rewatch that, because of all the things, I have questions about Final Fantasy XVI the most. Um... I'm a little worried, man. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm actually a little worried about that one. Because it could... I mean, I'm going to say this one first, right? At the very least, I don't like this new HUD. I should say this HUD that they've been using since like 
I don't know, 13? I don't like it. Who are we? It's this like modern the dominance. The like font style with like this super glow effect, minimalistic style sort of deal. It's been appearing in every Final Fantasy. And like it makes sense, I guess, for 15 or maybe even 13. But for like the... For 7? I guess so. Seven remake makes sense too. To be war, isn't there? But like Strangers in Paradise, it doesn't make sense to me. Sixteen, it definitely doesn't make sense to me. Us to okay. So this is also what I'm worried about: cinematic fights. What I'm seeing here: cinematic camera angles. We got one on ones. We got a health bar, and up here, it looks like we have two icons that we can switch between. So we have uh, Phoenix and Garuda. By pressing L2, we can switch. I'm, I'm going to hope that what that is, is um, like a, a stance switches or something, right? With Phoenix, he has one type of like maybe face button moves, right? He has like a, a fire attack or a heal or something like that. When he switches to Garuda, he has more like AOE wins. So it does look like it is. So Phoenix shift. So we have jump, we have attack, we have fire. On the directional buttons, we have potions, high potions, strength, tonic. Character's name is Clive. We do have multiple uh, battles, so it's not all of like the ones on ones. Um, the thing I'm worried about is it's going to be spammy, right? It looks like a lot of these characters' health aren't really going down all that much. Um, so I'm worried that like these Scarlet Cyclones, these Rising Flames are going to be the ways that you kill the characters, right? So like think of ATB back in Remake or 7 Remake, you usually just like attack by doing chip damage with Cloud Sword and then you unleash your skills to really finish them off. And I'm a, I'm a little iffy on that style. If they're going 7 Remake combat style, uh, uh. Also, these camera angles are wild. Uh, we will. I'm going to listen to like what they say and like kind of shut up at some point. But I kind of want to see some of this different stuff uh, for like HUD and combat and stuff like that. And then we'll get into listening to the story. So this next combat section uh, looks like he had Garuda up for a second, which was air combos, right? And then he switched over to Titan. And he's probably going to do slams, yep. So slams, AoEs, different things like that. Um, we have a stagger meter here with Odin, who we have on right now. Okay, so you can stagger small people. So this is, this is the HUD that I'm talking about, right? One, these numbers are super in your face, and I hate them. Um, but like this, this stuff, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit a fantasy setting, and I hate that they keep on putting it in Final Fantasy. At least the medieval time Final Fantasies. It's confirmed we have sex. Okay. Um, so I saw the Odin thing here. I don't know what that means. So he gets staggered and he builds up Odin meter? Is that the only time that the meter builds? Like, let's say you use Odin. And then, like, it runs out and it's got to go on cooldown. Do you only build up Odin meter again when A, you have it equipped, or B, they're staggered? We may bring an end to the strike. Okay, so he has Shiva, and he uses Diamond I Dust, but it doesn't look like he uses Limit Break. Interesting. Huh. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to play it. But I was kind of hoping, I was actually kind of hoping for a more classic Final Fantasy. To its foundations. I'm hoping the story is fantastic. Yoshi P is coming through with an absolutely killer story. Does Bahamut have blade arms? Does he have, like, giant... Instead of hands, I think he has just, like, giant blades. Uh, yeah, dude. I think he has just giant pikes for hands. Obviously, his wings are impractical as hell. 
but he's he's a spiky boy. Holy shit, he's really spiky. Um, Odin. Odin doesn't have his big old crown thing. It looks like it looks like he has just regular. Eh, okay, yeah, he does have the horn the horns. Uh, Bahama has the most design changes of having the main summons in the series. Yeah. Odin's looking pretty classic, but he has a sword this time. He doesn't have a lance. I don't know if I like that. Though, I don't know all of Odin's designs. So this is the part that I'm worried about, right? We have icon fightings. I don't know how this is going to work. Because as of right now, it doesn't seem engaging. <laughs> this, like, these ultimates are these can sequences, like... Press triangle to summon your icon. Finish the battle. Garuda, dude. All right, we should probably also look at some of these other dudes. Phoenix, classic Phoenix. Nothing really to see there. Uh, Ifrit looks very similar to how I've seen Ifrit done in 14. Uh, Titan, I'm liking this one, dude. This deranged Titan. What the fuck is this? This is a... This is a question mark icon that Ifrit is just blowing to pieces. I can't even recognize the little symbol. Uh, Ramu. Ramu doesn't have his big, big bushy beard from 14. He's, he's kind of cut down a little bit. He looks good, though. That's a good Ramu. I love that face. Loving that face. Uh, Shiva. Looking beautiful, as always. Garuda, one of my favorites. She's looking hot, dude. Garuda's looking real good. Real spicy. <gasps> Yo, wait! Did you see Ifrit's arm get blown off right there? Yo, they're not fucking around. That's That right there is Ifrit's arm. Yo, <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> okay. Odin again with its trusty steed. I'm liking that Odin. It is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, different look at Shiva. We're gonna watch this one more time and we're gonna listen to the story this time without any kind of me talking. See if we can parse any story stuff. The song was actually saying their name too. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm confused. Hold on. They showed a lady. This is Garuda. So Garuda's icon. I don't know. The person holding Garuda. Very much like Joshua, I think, was holding Ifrit. So she's going to she's gonna be the Garuda holder, which makes sense, which tracks. Cool. All right. Let's watch this one more time, and, uh... Also, did they mention if this is only PS5? Awaken, child of fate. Awaken, if breed. Cool. Alright, I want to I wanna just listen to this. I'm not going to talk this time. If 
I take the field, our dune will shake the island to its foundations. Losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm gonna hope that. Awaken, child of fate. I forgot about that. Awaken. If breathed. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Were those two Efrits? Awaken. If. Who the fuck is this? And that's Efrit. Is that another Efrit? Are we getting double Efrit? Because in, in the uh, original trailer, they do say another icon of fire or whatever. That's impossible. But I thought it was Joshua. But it seems like Joshua is Phoenix. But that would be two icons of fire. And then Clive has the third. <laughs> like, hold on. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm going to trust Yoshi P. I really, really, really am. I guess I just have to say I'm a little disappointed it's going to play more like an action RPG. And that's the direction that Final Fantasy is going. I don't know if we'll ever, outside of like spinoffs, like World of Final Fantasy or something, I don't know if we'll ever get a turn-based uh, Final Fantasy again. And that's a little disappointing. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I feel like if there was ever a series to try to reinvent turn-based combat, it would have been Final Fantasy, like mainline numbered Final Fantasy. But I think they're, they're just done with that. 7 remakes sold too much, 15 sold too much. Um, kind of sucks. I'm going to be honest with you. It, that actually kind of sucks. But I guess that's just something I have to deal with. Maybe I'll learn to love them as I, as I go through. But I know turn-based RPGs are not popular. Most people do not play them and or enjoy them. I am one of those people who does enjoy a turn-based RPG, specifically Final Fantasy. Um, it just, it kind of hurts a little bit, I guess, but what are you going to do, right? Overall, um, still excited for 16. I would just say that I'm actually a little less excited after seeing some of the gameplay, if that makes any sense. I was super up on Final Fantasy 16 for the last year since they showed it originally. And I think my hype just dwindled a little bit. I'm still going to play it. I'm going to hope that I enjoy it. But I'm I'm no longer at that point of rewatching this trailer like every single day, like I did with the the first announcement trailer. 